What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Look at this, my nature. So peaceful here. Got the squirrels running around and stuff. But anyways, peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Back in another video. This one's gonna be about why God puts you alone and why I'm noticing a pattern and why God doesn't allow me to have many friends. Why God doesn't allow me to have a group of friends, a group of homeboys, right? Now, of course you have, I do have, you know, brothers and friends because there's a friend who sticks closer than their brother. And uh, one thing I realized when it comes to being chosen by God, being set apart, um, being a warrior for Christ. Not everyone's a warrior for Christ. It's not a salvation requirement to be a warrior for Christ, but God uh, chooses who he chooses, right? The people who are not afraid to speak up, stand for something. Uh, the people who, you know, are willing to go against the odds and go with, go what, go through what Christ went through, right? Those are the warriors of Christ. So when you're a warrior, right, in God's army, you can't have all these friends. Let me, let me tell you why this is designed this way. Not to say that you can't have friends, not to say that you can't have a brother, a sister, etc. okay? But this is how the devil works. Okay, the last video I made, um, I, I it was titled, this is how the devil destroys chosen ones. Literally that night, I got attacked. The devil got mad, man. So this video is gonna get mad too. I don't care, <laughs> I don't care, bro. Get mad all you want. But this is how the devil works, right? You can't hang around with certain people because Let's say if you're if you're hanging with someone who's lost your friends and he could be he could be a cool, you know, cool dude, good vibes, good energy, right? He means well. He doesn't want you, he doesn't want to harm you. But the devil's a spirit, and when people are lost, demons could jump in and out of them. When people are walking in darkness, demons could walk jump in and out of them, right? So you know, so now let's say you hanging out with them, right? Everything is going good, y'all hanging out for a couple weeks, couple days, couple months, and how the devil works the devil will now start planting seeds in people seeds of hate seeds of jealousy seeds of envy okay because the devil sees you doing your thing for god for god's army whatever god has called you to do I many are called for your chosen and the devil doesn't want you to do that and the devil could always use someone who's walking in darkness the devil could always use someone who is lost who doesn't have christ in their life who doesn't have the most high that's someone who's lost, by the way. Someone who doesn't have Christ, doesn't, doesn't believe in God. Oh, especially those who don't believe in God. Oh, he loves to use those people. Okay. Uh, those people, they laugh, they mock, they scoff at spiritual warfare. They think it's just like a, like a joke or something. But, you know, once you start to give up your sins and you want to uh, be holy and live for God, you'll see it's not a joke at all. You know, and, and then you'll stop scoffing. But many people are not spiritually strong to do that. And it is what it is. But how the devil works, right? You hanging out with someone. And this could even be, not just a friend too, this could even, wow, look at that view right there, man. Oh, I thought that was a mountain for a second. I thought it was a mountain, but I think it's like clouds or whatever. But anyways, so y'all hanging out with someone, right? You hanging out, it could be your girlfriend, your boyfriend, uh, maybe even your husband and wife. Yeah, it could be anybody, it could be anybody, anyone who's lost, right? Maybe you're in an unequally yoked relationship. And that also applies to friendships too, being unequally yoked with people who are unbelievers. Okay. There's a reason why God says not to do that because these people could be used, okay? Used by the devil to attack you. All right, see, and now you hanging out, like I said, you hanging out with everything is going good. Like he's, he's your best friend, you know, y'all hanging out all the time. But now here comes the devil to, to plant seeds in their mind of hate, jealousy, doubt, envy, gossip, slander, false accusations, uh, just all, all, all those things. The devil start planting seeds in them. And, then, and see, one thing about us people who are the Holy Spirit, us people who are spiritual, we could detect when someone has bad energy, who's giving us bad vibes, someone who's jealous and envious uh, of us, someone who has hate for us. We could detect that. Just like Christ, he was able to detect that from the Pharisees who were full of envy, full of jealousy, full of hate. They were of the father of the devil. And when you have the Holy Spirit, you can also detect someone who is uh, who's of the devil or someone who's just being used. Okay, someone who's just envious and jealousy. I'm telling you, when you got the Holy Spirit, you could discern things that the average person can't. Okay, remember, the discernment is a gift of the Holy Spirit. So you start to realize that, dang, you know, and this is how the devil, this is how the seed plants, right? Because when something slowly plants, let me show you guys an example, right? So you see how this right here is like it's it's pretty small, right? Or let's go, this is a better example. This is pretty small, okay? And it's it's first starts as a seed, so let's just say a seed's like this. Let's just say 
Let's see, is this small, right? Let's see, is that small? There you go, okay? But now it's slow, it, months and seasons and weeks, it starts to grow up all the way this big, right? And then slowly but surely, it now becomes a tree. But it first started as a seed, right? It first started as a mustard seed. And it goes all the way up here. And, once that, and then once that tree grows, the, the more it grows, the more hate you're gonna start to feel towards the end of, um, they're, gonna start, they're gonna start feeling towards you. The more jealousy, the more envy. And like I said, when you have the Holy Spirit, you can see these things. You can see why the devil's, the devil's deceiving them, why the devil's using them to attack you. Especially, especially, man, when you're on fire for Christ, you're saving souls, you're telling people to repent. You're telling people to keep God's commandments. You're telling people to give your life to Christ. Okay, you're telling people to be obedient, telling people to abide by the word, to be, you know, don't just be hearers of the words and not doers, deceiving your own self. So you're giving people the harsh truth that the, that these uh, mainstream Christianity churches ain't giving y'all. Oh, the devil gets real mad because you're winning people over for Christ. You're convicting people. The Holy Spirit, you're a, being, you're a vessel of God and the Holy Spirit is working through you to help the lost, to help the sheep to feed the sheep okay and the devil doesn't like that because the devil is miserable and his children are miserable too and not only does the devil but his children they want you to go to hell with them so they're going to deceive you with false doctrines they're going to sow confusion in your minds okay this is what they're going to do all right so this is why it's important it's important when you're chosen by god you can't have all these friends man this is a spiritual warfare and Energy is contagious, especially you sisters, right? Because women, they're receivers of energy. Okay, you got to be very cautious. Let's say if you're on the narrow path, right? And you got your friends. I'm telling you, I'm telling I know how this works. No, the reason why I said I know how this works is there was girls who I, I, I would date. And, you know, they would be, you know, they had me, you know, they had their Adam, right? And they didn't want to listen. You know, you know, Eve chose Satan. <laughs> I, I'm just letting you all know how it is, right? So, and see, Satan, he just, he works through people. So, you know, they'll, they'll be, no, you know, they're obeying what I'm saying, whatever, right? Now they go hang out with their friend. And now they come back and the energy's different. The, the, it's different. I'm like, what the heck? Well, you see, that's how it works, planting seeds. So be cautious of spiritual warfare. And when you deal with people, understand that you're dealing with spirits. You're dealing with a spirit in the individual. You're not dealing with the person, okay? Always remember that. I don't care if it's your friend. You remember, also remember this too. When you're chosen, you can't. You can't really be around too much. That's why I understand when Christ, he he wasn't he didn't he didn't have a whole bunch of friends. Yeah, he had the disciples, and they were doing. Now, you, if you're if you're around people that are doing the work of God too, there's always going to be that Judas. But y'all you're, you're all doing the will of God together. Then that's cool. But I'm just talking about people you just hang out with, watch the sports games with, you know, do whatever y'all doing, right? You can't really be around these type of people for too long because they could plague your spirit. And you know, they could cause you to backslide because evil communications corrupt good manners. And I'm telling you guys, this has happened so many times. But especially one individual who I was, he was like my best friend, man. And I'm like, what the heck? Why'd you turn on me? Right? And you know, God showed me the devil was planning. We were friends for over over two years, over two, three years. Everything was going good. We would hang out all the time. And you know, I did see some red flags. When anyone who's anyone who's dragging you to sin. Anyone who's like forcing sin upon your life, and you and you told him, you told him or her straight up that. Um, hold up, my bad. <laughs> you told I'm not gonna even stop this, bro, because I'm going in. But it's cold out here. But anyways, you told so and so that you know I ain't trying to do this no more. You know, I, you know I'm good. You know, I, I, you know, I'm, and they, and they know that you're living for God, right? And they still try to push it upon you, bro. That's the devil using someone, man. And like I said, a lot of people, they're unaware of this. They're unaware of the spiritual warfare. They're unaware of what's really taking place in the unseen realm. So you just got to be wise and always understand that you can't have all these friends, man. Once you become chosen, bro. Like when God was calling me, it's like, and I started to not only walk in truth, but also speak the truth. It's like everyone disappeared from my life. But even Christ says, you know, he who loses his life will find it. And I have found my life. I lost all these friends, lost everybody, right? And in the midst of me losing everything, everything that I gained in the world, I, get, I found my life, bro. I gained a hundred thousand times back, even better, okay? Um, so always understand that Satan's kingdom is real. Many people are in Satan's kingdom, even people who call themselves Christians, okay? Remember, you know a tree by its fruits. 
uh, according to Google, I don't know how accurate this is, but there's over 2 billion people who profess to be Christians, okay? You really think there's gonna be 2 billion people on the narrow path? So you, you mean to tell me that all those people who are, you know, Christians, right? Are all gonna be saved, even though, even though Jesus says only few will be saved? You really think those 2 billion people, all of them are going to heaven? I don't believe that. You could believe it, but I'm not gonna believe it. So the choice is up to you. Uh, people say, oh, Mark, he preached division. Well, you know what Christ said? He said that he's coming back to bring division. He's coming back to bring a sword. He's coming back to divide the wheats and the tares. So you tell Christ that. You tell Christ, Christ, you, you preach the vision. You will sound like a fool. Okay? You will sound like a fool. But man, that's it for this video. Hope you guys got edified. Remember, the devil, he's he's working, bro. He's working overtime, and you you have to work overtime too. I know that there's this, this false doctrine going on saying that, once saved, always saved, and everyone just comfortable, comfortable in sin, telling you, no, you got to fight the devil, bro. You got to fight sin off. Uh, now, we all fall short. We're covered under grace, but we don't abuse the spirit of grace. We live a life of a repent, repented lifestyle. And like I said, every single day is a war, and, you know, devil is always planting seeds in people who are walking in darkness, who are lost. Demons love using these people, okay? They love it. The, the, the demons love people the most who laugh and scoff about this type of stuff. And they're, you know, being ignorant. And the Bible says, if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Hope you guys got edified. Like, subscribe, mount. Peace.